Hi, people. Welcome back to Streamline Entertainment. It's uh, Marvin speaking. We're just going to get straight into a video by Hayley Comet. She done this um, uh, on the fifteenth of this month, fifteenth of the eleventh. Just want to uh, basically just go through it because I did, I was going to put it um, talk about it, but I didn't have a chance with so much um, news sort of coming through uh, with myself and Ali getting on the case. So let's go through everything that she says. Yes, I see those. I would know petunias anywhere. That's what Lucy expects us to believe, right? Because she looks like she works in a green, in um, some kind of green space. That's not happened. The next day, this is from Brad as well, straight from Brad. Lucy and Brandon arrive back at the hotel and they say to Brad, Jay's missing, we need to go look for him. And they say to Brad, Brad, Brad Brandon, there's two, let me just get a few. So Brandon and Lucy come and say, Jay's lost. Brad wants to go up and look with them. They say, no, you can't come. They go off looking. And there is pictures of them in, in a car with Ayub and Rocky looking for Jay. Okay, because they, they... That picture has been seen out there um, at the end of the day, especially in the early part uh, of this case. Um, I remember seeing something uh of that what she's talking about there but it was way back when in the case they like they've taken pictures out the front of their car looking at a police car who's also looking for jay so they're out there then they come back later on lucy and brandon and they say we need to look for jay again but you can't come with us and brand brad's like in case he comes back here they he figures like i've got to wait here they still haven't alerted anyone back home jay's mum or anything but lucy's mum already knows um like i said katie if you don't believe me you don't have to i'm not going to put out source or whatever i'm going to give you what i have that's it the problem is i've got with that why doesn't why hasn't lucy's mum ever came out or lucy's dad ever come out and actually have said something that look hey um sleeves are giving her a hard time she's not said a word Technically, we don't really know who she is. Yeah, we've. Um, I think her name has been put out there by private messages. But wouldn't you thought that she would come out and say something? You know, we've had Brad's mother, Rachel, come out. We've had Brandon's mother saying that he's, he's, he's talking to the police. Lucy's mum have never, ever said a word, which I find it really, really strange. You know, it's it, it, as though... She knew what um, Lucy was up to uh, over there. And basically, you know, it seems like to me, did she sort of go to get her to get her out of there and take her back um, to another place in Spain or another island? Um, because I know that apparently Lucy's mum and dad, um, ha you know, has got a home somewhere else. Yeah. And by the way, anyone in here that doesn't want to be in here, you don't have to be. Um, is this info on YouTube the truth or so? I haven't seen that, Annie. I haven't. I don't really watch any of the other content creators. I'm literally all of this I'm getting from people I've spoke to or voice notes I've heard, conversations I've seen. Like this is stuff I'm putting out, which is dangerous for me to put out, but I'm going to put it out anyway. Um, so on the third time when they come back and they need to find Jay and they're getting to the stage where they need to alert someone that Jay is missing, they say to Brad, "You've got to come with us now. You've got to come and help us search because we need to make a police report like we've just lost Jay." And Brad says at that stage, he says, no, I'm not going. There's something too weird going on here, which I don't believe fully because he already said he've had an amazing feeling, oh, a weird feeling the night before. Sorry, someone's called amazing. Um, a weird feeling like before that something had happened. And I believe something happened already to Jay in that car where it already became a situation where it wasn't going to go well. And that's why he's like, I'm getting out. So. The problem is, I know that, um, Obviously, Haley is doing a lot of good work around the Jay Slater case. But like I said, if this is f obviously um, she must have been talking to Ayup or um, someone that she knows. Because obviously the full episode come out uh, a couple of weeks ago on this when she was talking about it. But um, it's still very, very odd that we haven't really got any timelines. I believe something happened on um, basically Jay on the beach. Um, him probably being tapped which is uh, terrible, to be honest with you. And this case just seems to be um, getting muddled, muddled a lot um, with so many different stories. And I think a lot of that is down to um, Rachel Hargreaves and many others putting a false narrative out there. So I believe something happened to Jay on the beach. Whether at that time he was alive in the car, 
Um, for me, it's a slim chance that he was. But if he was, you know, maybe there's a possibility he, 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 you know, he could escape. But like I said, it's a long shot for me. It really, really is. And the thing is, is that he didn't have his phone with him. So it's, it is easy for someone else to manip manipulate the situation, though it was him. And that was either Brad, Lucy and Ayub definitely involved in it. That's what we know about that. Then we know that Lucy obviously starts getting her story wrong. One minute's incoming call, one minute's outgoing call. Brad is all over the fucking place or he's nowhere at all to be seen. Brandon is a massive key here because who's in Brandon? It's like he never existed. And even I have said on his life, I will answer any question about anything, but I will not answer anything about Brandon. Why? Why? Why is Brandon the one prodigal son we can't talk about? Why no statement? The only statement we ever heard from Brandon was his mum saying, leave my boy alone. Makes no sense. Makes no sense for impends at myself. Yeah. Two people from Lancashire say that the wedding that Brandon went to in Lancashire while Jay was still missing, he told several people at that wedding, Jay's dead. How did you know if he was missing? How did you know he was dead if he was missing? If he was missing? Um, the thing is, there were a lot of messages, uh, private messages back in the day and people send, sending them on to me. And a lot of these messages were saying that um, Brandon was one of the reasons why Jay passed. And I truly believe it because I think Brandon um, has been going out with, with Lucy for ages. And I think they got in over their heads. Whether there was a watch involved or not, I don't think it was the main reason that actually Jay um, uh, basically passed. Um, I think there, there's a lot more to this. And what I've actually realised is as well, there's so many different gangs out there. Some of the Marley boys were out there. Uh, other gangs... Um, northern gangs from the Burnley area and Liverpool area and Jay's area. It just went on and on and on. So what that tells me, there's a lot of connections and there's a lot of um, people who are just out there to earn money or on the hustle um, as well. It, Tenerife just seems a paradise um, for career criminals. That's what it seems like to me. How do you know? You know, and I've put this stuff out in videos before and they've been taken down straight away because Luggy, Rachel and everyone else will report them straight away because you're not allowed to mention Brad's name. Um, and do I think Brad killed Jay? No. Do I think I have killed Jay? No. Do I think Rocky did? No. Do I think he was handed over to someone? Absolutely, I do. Um, I believe he was handed over to that second car. And that brings us to the motive. Why did Jay Slater have to die? You have to simplify it, okay? I've heard a lot of nonsense about Jay Slater died because of Potter Paper's coffee license. I've heard that he died because he had a bag with 50G in there. I've heard that he died because of Rolex watch. Jay Slater died because, this is allegedly, but 80% that, that it was something to do with what happened back in Lancashire. Um, oh, Brad's mum's here, is she? Normally she blocks my left, so I can't see anything. Do you know what? It is It is highly, highly possible, highly possible uh, that it could have been a revenge attack. And I've always said it earlier on in the case, but I don't think, um, because it was on foreign soil, I don't think Tom Hilton did actually much to actually get this set up and keep his act. Because he doesn't care, because like I said, I don't think he had much to do with it, apart from knowing a few people out there um, maybe we're getting his revenge because like I said his, his father died and it, you know it was something that he'd, he'd, he'd wanted for the people that hurt hurt him so it, it, it could have a high percentage in there but I do think it's also um, rug related and somewhat you know the two uh, you know are matched in some way uh, basically the reason why um, uh, Jay passed. I really, really do think that. But like I said, I do think Tom Hilton knows a lot more than what he's letting on. But I don't think he actually did anything uh, to Jay. Um, and I'm the only one she ever threatened to take to the courtroom, probably because I'm closest to the truth, I imagine, Rachel. Um, you know, so how would... Why would she say, yeah, because the moment, the moment that she came back, um, she blocked me on absolutely everything. Um, 
and put out paperwork saying she was going to take me to the solicitors, which I said you should do because then we could talk about all this in the courtroom, which would be easier, wouldn't it? Um, do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? I've been told several times that I make content just out of Jay Slater when I think you'll all find that I speak on several different cases all where I think there's a victim and their justice needs to happen. Um, I wasn't the one that came to TikTok in order to make money off the back of the fact that my son had been involved in some kind of murder. That wasn't me. Um, so let's talk about why um, Jay Slater may have, and we can only say maybe, um, Natty, if the mods have muted her, it's because she was being rude. And at the moment, I just want to get all of this out and then she can go live on her own platform and she can say whatever she wants to say. But she have actually muted and blocked me from day one so I couldn't go to a live, so I couldn't see what's happening, so I couldn't look at her post. Like a post where she put up a picture of Brad saying, I will always protect you, son. From what? From what? What are you protecting him from? Um, his mum has been cheeky. Of course she is. I thought she'd be live in the takeaway by now, making money off James J. Slater's um, death. Or well, making pictures up of the family with Jay Slater's angel in the background, really randomly, because that gets more views, right? If you continue to use someone else's son. Um, Rachel can take her face for a shit, man. 100%. Because if she's one of the people who have been behind the scenes all the time, working for this... So that was um, Hayley Comet um, talking about Rachel Hargreaves and uh, A up in the car. What I don't get from all of this, this case, is that not one of them have given a timeline. They come out and said, um, uh, well, Rachel, in an interview, um, you know, we're sorry about Jay and he went missing. Ayup said, look, um, you know, it happens, you know, sort of on his um, gang thing. And, but there's no remorse from any of them. You know, how come, you know, hundreds of people even the ones that were just there and saw this he saw jay collapse in the club have said nothing and how many people were actually taking videos all night and jay was actually stood in front of them and they never said a dicky bird it actually makes you think um what i've uncovered in this case that for young people the rug world is rife in Tenerife if you want to get involved. I'm not saying everyone is, but like I said, it's there in your face. And if you want a piece of the action, um, you can get it and work for um, one of these big firms. But uh, if you get in trouble or you lose something or you get robbed, um, that's your fault. You've got to pay it back um, somehow. And it sounds like to me some of these high mafia bosses um are absolutely ruthless and i do think there was a lot of british mafia that goes out there and i think this is just a snippet of what's been coming out um lately and i do think it's um connected to um rap stars and uh their contacts um you know but like i said maybe we will never know because like i said these rap stars and uh, basically um, hip hop stars they've got to keep their nose clean but they've got other people um, who are working with them and like I said are people that are just grand workers for them so they you know these people will never get the blame many many people have been mentioned but they're all in the game they're all going to protect each other um, right to the end but for me all I want is justice for Jay Slater and um, for some of these people, maybe they won't put beyond bars. But I think what they should know is that people know who they are and are looking at them. And they will be caught one day because you can't keep going in the rugs game and not get, you know, not get caught. And at the end of the day, I mean, for Lucy, Brad and Brandon, you know, change your lives around. You know, we're not, you know, we're not asking for um, perfection. But, you know, don't bring other young people in there who's got their own lives ahead of themselves and maybe manipulated and think that they can earn lots of money at 16, 17, going, to, going over Tenerife, and then they get caught up um, in the rugs world and then threatened, um, possibly killed, um, for working um, for these um, organisations. Because I do think Lucy's a um, uh, recruiter. 
and I do think she's manipulative and she can use her charm to get what she wants. Let me know what you think. I do think sometimes if it is Ayub that was talking or a friend who was with Ayub um, in the car, there's the, what I don't get from it. There's no actually timeline to when it happened. Um, we sort of obviously know something uh, of what they've said they were searching for him um, at night or the early hours of the morning. We've heard so many scenarios and stories, but you don't know what to believe until you know they actually write things down. I mean, surely um, Lucy had all these messages um, on her phone. Um, Brad too. Why can't you just put them online? She said to Haley Comet that she deleted them all. Why would you do that? Um, that's evidence I've no longer got them because I didn't think it was relevant. Jesus, one of your mates had died and you don't think any message is relevant? For me, I would happily give my phone to the police um, to get it um, checked out just in case it had um, any information or photos or, you know, area where my mate was or, do you know what I mean, the last messages and stuff. I think it's very, very, very important. And I think that in this case, there's so many people who cannot tell the truth and they're born liars. I think they're born criminals and the, the mentality is, 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 is criminal. And I don't think um, any of them are going to improve their lives unless they actually go to prison and um, reform. Because we know like Abe's been there, we know that Rocky's um, been inside um, as well. And there's just so many shady characters um, in this case. And it, it, it makes me wonder uh, that this is a serious, serious organisation. But the main thing is, even if we don't get justice for Jay, um, this has really opened our minds um, to what sometimes uh, goes on in the rugs world and everything else that goes with it. Don't forget to subscribe to Streamline Entertainment and follow the channel. Thank you very much and leave your comments.